and welcome to FEM Expert. Today we will present you a basic tutorial in which we will talk about the ANSYS help and the log file. These two are very fundamental components of the ANSYS environment. We will start with an already open instance of ANSYS and before I proceed to talk to you about help I'm going to explain you a few things. ANSYS represents one of the most extensive finite element analysis programs which provide that provides a wide variety of different uh, of different simulations thermal thermal simulations mechanical simulations fluid simulations and so on due to this there is a wide variety of options and different types of elements and configurations and because of this the help file of ansys represents a very a very important component of it basically this help file will be the lifesaver every time that you don't know how to do something in ANSYS. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to access the help file now or the help menu. The help menu, in order to do that you can, there's a couple of ways I'm gonna show you two. One is going to the help and clicking on help topics. By doing so you will open an instance of, of another instance that's usually a Java instance in which you have the help. This is the general of it of the help. Here on the left you have the content in which you can see different menus for different programs that ANSYS owns or which or with which ANSYS works for example Autodin, AQWA, Workbench, ICM, CFD and so on. If you're a regular user, if you're using the regular ANSYS you will be interested in the mechanical APDL ANSYS Anytime that you open one of these menus, you'll see that there's a very long menu and things get very complicated because that's usually a standard in ANSYS. What you need to know is that anytime that you open something, on the right you will see the contents of that menu of the left. And well, you can just read these menus, see what you're interested in and just select it. For example, Structural Analysis Guide. You can go to structural analysis and there start reading what you have on the left, on the right. Another here, on, here also you have different tabs that you you can add tabs a little bit like in a browser or an in internet browser. And here well, we also have the option of the search tab option. Here you can type anything you want. For example, I want to look for a beam and hit enter. By doing so, what you will have here is, as it will show you, or the help will show you all of the topics in which the word beam can be found among the content. This can be useful sometimes but can also be tricky because for example if we want to look for a beam, a beam element we will get all of the results that are not beam elements for example from the meshing for the verification and so on. You have to also take into be careful with the fact that because you have all the help from all the different programs that ANSYS has you need to be careful what are you reading. For example, here we have the mechanic APDL and on this particular topic we have the fluent help. So be careful not to read the another help for another program when you're looking for something specific. You just have to be careful. Another option is to go into the index and type on the top bar uh, create the same thing that you want or whatever thing you're looking for. And by doing so this, this situation you will obtain, what you will get is uh, ANSYS will look for the, or the help program will look for the word that you just put on the top but on the title. It will look for this thing on the title of that topic which sometimes makes it easier to or makes it more clean in order to obtain the information that you're looking for. So I'm gonna show you now for example a topic, let's say we are interested in going back to the search, we're interested in the BIM 188. If you want to read about it, you just go on to the right click and you start reading. You'll see that ANSYS is very good in the uh, uh, structuring the help. Is Everything is the structure is properly explained. Sometimes you got to be careful because a lot of the times the things can be tricky or multiple, multiple times you have to be uh, familiarized with a series of other concepts. So therefore, you have to go to other, other, um, other things and look for them, other topics, and read them before you go back to the topic that you're reading. 
anyway anytime that you have to use the help you just go to the right and start reading whatever you have whatever the topic of your interest is and as I said before just be careful when you're reading it now I'm gonna close this instance and I'm gonna show you I'm gonna close the help and I'm gonna show you how to open the help the another way uh, this other way is actually using the ANSYS command prompt command prompt and in order to do that you have to type help comma and after you type the comma the the whatever topic you're interested in for example we're gonna look for shell after you hit enter the help instance will open and you will have if there's a straight if there's an exact topic of what you've been searching it will take you to that exact topic if not it will take you to the closest thing that and that the help believes it will suit you and then you can start doing the same thing using the, the search the index or just going to the content so and i'm gonna close and now you know how to use the the help of ANSYS. also when you go into the the main menus many of these options they will actually allow you to to use the help they will actually have a button that says help so you can just use that button to get into the help is the same stuff okay so now that we talk about the help file I'm gonna talk a little bit about the log file the first thing I'm gonna do is show you where this log file is located and then I'll explain you why it's so important and what you should do with it in order to find a log file you have to go to the list menu under files you can see log file I actually calls it log file and see before opening it I'm gonna explain you a little bit about it any mat any finite element model represents in fact a mathematical model of a model of a structure or a process or a situation whatever it depends on what you have the fact that it's a mathematical model by putting it into a program in this situation ANSYS anything that you do any movement modification anything that you create has behind a program routine or a common line the log file it's, it's like a recorder of anything that happens in ANSYS but from the common point of view for example now we're gonna look go and look at it and what you'll see when you open the common line is a series of common line the log file is a series of common lines anytime that you have a, a curiosity to see what a specific common line means you can just go into the common bar and type help for example here comma slash plo and you can read on the help what that common line specific common line means i'm going to show you for example i'm going to give you an, an specific, a specific a practical example we're going to go to preprocessor modeling and we're going to create create key points and we're going to create two key points in an active coordinate system here you have to put a number of key point this is situation one and the coordinates of our key point we're going to put the for the first one zero 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 we're going to hit apply and then we're going to create another key point which is going to be two and their coordinates are going to be five 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 Actually, let's create one more. We're going to be a third point with the coordinates 10, 10, 10. After you do that, you hit OK. And you go to the list files, log files. And you go to the bottom because the last order, the last common lines are at the bottom. You'll see that, in fact, ANSYS has created those key points with those these common lines. This helps you to understand how the common lines work and also it helps you learn what to do. Here we have, for example, to put a, a key point, you have to use the K common line, then you have the number of key points and the coordinates. And you'll see that the first key point was created with this coordinate, the second key point was created with these coordinates, and the third key point was created with these coordinates. Any, anything that you do here will be recorded in ANSYS. For example, here we have the three points, one, two, three. If we go to this isometric view and we click on it, we have the isometric view. Let's see the oblique view. Okay, now the oblique view, we see 
these things properly. After we do that, we go to the file log file and go to the bottom again. <clears throat> After the creation of a key point, we see that the views have these common lines behind them. As I said, these are very useful, especially when you want to create routines. Also, when you want to learn how a common line and then can be used so you can actually do it by just typing on the bar instead of clicking the, the icon uh, you will see in further tutorials how to actually use the the log file in a productive way i'm gonna close this and I'm gonna show you one more thing for example we're gonna go and zoom the zoom the model with this button to the key point on this window we do that, and if we go to the list file again, onto the log file, list menu onto the log file, we'll see this common line, which was actually the common line that did that thing with our model. So, for example, if we just copy this and put on the on the common line, on the common bar, you will actually be able to reproduce that last thing that you did. So now. You see that the importance of the log file and that its use is very simple. I'm gonna go and quit the, the Ansys instance right now by clicking on the quit button. As, as usual, Ansys asks us if we wanna save or just exit Ansys. I'm gonna hit quit no save. And also gonna close the APDL product launcher. So now you know how to use the help file, how to access the help file, you know what the importance of the log file and how to access the log file. We would like to thank you for your attention and we hope you enjoy this presentation. For more tutorials, please visit our community and follow us on the social networks.